Hi, I'm Shafiq Ijazi, portrait photographer and painter from Ghana. <laughs> Imanol Oyeleke, photographer, Acha tech enthusiast from Nigeria. This is the second time we're doing this. We did this two years ago when uh, Shafiq was in Nigeria. Today, uh, we photographed Joy and it was five looks yes. in total. And I think a lot of the looks were actually influenced by the, by the wardrobe. To seeing the style Fidel brought on set. The idea behind this, um, our first editorial for the year was um, an ode to Saint Laurent, Yves Saint Laurent, the designer, and basically pink, um, pinpointing um, his love for white and black, especially reflecting during the eras of um, Heidi Slimin before Anthony Vaccarello. And um, I had a lot of black dresses and white dresses in my closet, my styling closet, and I said, okay, you know what? Let's, I mean, I've already had that idea for a long time. And I was just like, you know what? I think this is the perfect time to photograph these pieces and voila. And also my love for classics, clean, fine tailoring, and then sexy garments sometimes. And what better way to say sexy than some mad ass heels. Styling also influenced the choice of light yes. and setups that we yes. used. Yes. We yeah. used um, the Profoto B2s, we used the, the B1 B1X, X. B1X and then B10. Yes. B10, B10 Plus, B10. actually. Yeah. I used the V-flat first when I was shooting the beauty. I used it as some sort of, uh, uh, what's sure. it called? Clam yeah, clamshell lighting, uh, which of course a decently big reflector can replace. Uh, but even after that, we used it on the side to just uh, bounce back the light from the main source of light uh, onto the model to fill in the shadows. I wanted the model to still have uh, kind of like soft light on the face, but then the ash light to be able to bring the edginess of the clothes out. So that's why I decided to mix the soft and the add light. The add light for specular highlights and then the soft light to fill in the ash shadows. Uh, a big reflector in essence too. We'll be able to replace this or perform the same function. Having blue in front uh, and then the orange of the amber CTU at the back, I think they're just uh, they're just very complementing colors. Uh, blue complements well with orange, uh, especially when you look at it on the on the color wheel. Color wheel. It gives it a cinematic uh, feel, feel sometimes. Look. Yeah, film look sometimes. I mean, it just looks good, especially on dark skin. Uh, I think it's just it's just a game changer. So I was just shooting and since the place was really dark and we were backlighting the model um, in the camera, I noticed there were some particles, um, you know, floating in the air. And we decided to exaggerate um, the particles in the background, um, especially behind the model. The cameras that we used were both uh, R5 cameras. Uh, I mean, I'm just trying to bring him up to speed. Uh, Which are and, really uh, fantastic cameras. Yes, <laughs> yes. You could te you could testify. Yeah. Uh, from focusing in the dark, I mean, which some other cameras cannot do. Uh, I mean, I think you're pretty well convinced that uh, you're on the brighter side of life. <laughs> Since we were photographing um, from head to toe, I decided to um, use like a 50 mm, which enabled me to get like really full shots. So I used the 85 when I wanted to get um, up close and tight um, with the model, especially for the head shots and then some medium lens shots as well. I started off with the 100 mm because I knew predominantly I was shooting beauty and when I'm shooting beauty, uh, one of my go-to lenses is the 100 mm. I mean, it's just a no-brainer for me. Uh, that lens is very sharp. I switched to the 50, just like uh, he said, to be able to get like full uh, 
blend shots of a model without going too far. Uh, so with a reasonable distance, maybe the, about uh, a distance of about 10 feet, I can actually capture uh, full end shots of someone standing in front of me, especially since the camera I'm using is a full, full frame camera. Um, and I think that's all about the lenses I used. Yes, the 70 to, uh, sorry, not 16 to 35. I wanted to exaggerate a few details, maybe the longer legs and stuff. And that was why I used uh, the 1635 when I used them. We went with Zen backdrops because they had a variety of backdrops we could choose from for the shoot and um, they've also added um, some apple boxes that we also got um, and yeah, used for the shoot yeah. which really helped with like the elevation and also helped with bringing Aesthetic. out the um, aesthetics of the photograph yeah i mean it's just it's just a no-brainer i mean yeah no zen no nothing no no picture no, <laughs> no magic <laughs> no zen no magic yeah, yeah i mean it's 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 a no-brainer i think zen is the number one uh, canvas backdrop producer in Nigeria, I dare say maybe Africa. Uh, and, um, I think we're just, we're just getting started, so expect a lot more from, from Zen. My experience working with the, with the whole team was amazing. Um, Style and Fidel killed the styling. Um, Cass also did amazing with the makeup. It was my first time working with Joy. I think she's a joy to work with. Then Aki doing the video. I mean, it's, it's just Aki's OG. That's, I call him. <laughs> I call him Uncle. <laughs> He's on the video. He does amazing stuff. Uh, the EOP team, everyone that was around, Shola, Zen Backdrops team. Yep. Uh, they got us every day, all day. Um, and I have to thank my wife too. She came in at some point and. Give some, some motivation yes. and the you. DJ. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Happy New Year! Uh, it's my first shoot for the year, and um, I can only uh, hope for many more. And even at that, I hope for many more collaborations, uh, even with other photographers. Um, I think it's something we need to make a culture. I need to make a culture. I think we started it actually. Yeah. Um, was it Lex? Trends. No, Lex own was the first one we did. Ah, okay. Yeah, Lex was 2019 or 2018. Okay. I started with Lex doing collaborations, then we did uh, her own, and uh, we've not done a lot with since Tosin. then. Yeah, I did with Tosin tonight, yeah. yeah. Uh, but I think it's something that we need to actually make a culture and do more of. Um, we learn by doing that, we learn more from each other. and. Uh, not just learning, we have more reach once uh, we can combine efforts and do, and do this. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, I hope to do more of this. Yeah. Yeah. All right, and if you like this video, uh, make sure you like and then subscribe, subscribe. to this yeah. channel because yeah. we have tons of uh, uh, amazing content that I hope and I am willing and planning to release this year. So, yeah. And hit the bell so the, the bell icon so you can get, get notifications, notifications when we, we upload yeah. new videos yeah yeah <laughs> you know all those things that they say yes yeah <laughs> leave a comment if you like the video as well <laughs>